I'm engraving brass on the Aurora Light. Today on Laser Nug. Welcome back. This is just kind of a standard brass plaque. It's about one millimeter in thickness. I got a six by six inch square of it just for testing, but it's the type of material you can get from your sign supplier used for a number of different things. It's plaques, awards, uh, different types of trophies, gifts, whether it's for office wear, like a pen holder, you've seen those, all kinds of those types of gifts, or different types of gifts where you've got a stand or a wooden piece that's got a brass plaque that's either glued or nailed to it, and you've got an engraving on the front, somebody's name, their title, those kind of things, humorous sayings. You can get these in all different shapes and sizes to fit whatever your needs are. I've got two different settings so far that are working out pretty good on brass. So we're gonna fire up the Aurora light, we're gonna jump into light burn, and we're gonna try it three different ways because I actually found out that if you put black and white together, you'll get gray. Usually the brass will have some kind of a protective film on either side, which this does. And I've got one setting for what I call a mark. It's a white mark, turned out really nice. And I've got one for a black engrave. I'm appreciating the difference between marking a piece of material and engraving a piece of material. The mark has no engrave whatsoever, but it seems to change the color of the metal. And you can't scratch it off without damaging the material itself. It's kind of permanently in there, but it just hasn't got an engrave or a depth to it. Whereas the black setting I'll give you today, this has a clear engrave to it. You can feel it with your finger and you can see it visually. Let's peel off the back, get a nice clean sheet. We'll fire into light burn. I'm gonna give you my settings and then we're gonna try it three different ways. Here in light burn, I'll give you my settings first. For the black, 1800 millimeters per second at a frequency of 50 kilohertz and a max power of 90%. Fill mode, I've got bi-directional and crosshatch set up. My lines per inch is 4,000. I've changed the scan angle to 25 and with one pass. I'm still kind of working on the black. It's turning out nice, but it's not as perfectly crisp as I want it, but it does turn out really nice. Close that up. My white mark, speed of 1,000 at a frequency of 60 kilohertz, max power of 40%, fill mode, bi-directional fill only at 1,000 lines per inch and one pass. I'm gonna use the white only, then I'm gonna use the black engrave a second time, and then I'm gonna do both colors together or engrave together. So let's hop into the laser. I'm gonna highlight my white mark and let's send it to the Aurora light. Okay, I've got my guide in. I'm gonna square my piece. I've already focused the material, but as you can see, my framing for my engrave is outside the material. So I'm just gonna use my arrow keys on the keyboard of my computer to bring it down into place. Maybe a little further down. Excellent. I am gonna disable the door safety switches just for the purpose of the video, but of course, as I've always said, when possible, try to get your door down and operate the machine with the door secured. First engrave, this should be a white mark only. Now I'm just gonna go back to the computer, highlight the black engrave. We're gonna move it over and we're gonna do that engrave right beside the white mark. Okay, we're square, we're good to go. Let's begin.
Good stuff. Now we'll highlight the third version, which combines both the white mark and the black and gray. Okay, we're good to go. That'll do it. So we're done. Let's clean them up and take a look. You'll find you get a little bit of debris or soot. So I'm just gonna use a damp cloth. There's nothing on here but water. Just to kind of give it a little wipe, get the debris out of there, hopefully clear it out of the engrave. One thing about brass, it picks up your fingerprints pretty quick. Well, it's looking pretty nice. Hopefully folks can see that well. There's your white, your black and grave. And when you combine them, you'll see the word Potter is all in white, but you've created a gray effect against the black when you overlap your white mark on top of your black and grave. Nice. Yeah, that turned out great. But one caution about working with brass, it's a very, very soft metal and it scratches super easy. And even though I've got a plastic sheet on there, I can see there's a few scratches through it that went through the plastic sheet, which is unfortunate. But that's the only caution I'd give you is handle it with care. Like I said, it picks up everything, fingerprints, any kind of smudges and scratches, scratches super easy. One other thing I wanted to mention before we wrap up today, these SVG files for these various sports figures and so many others, are probably the best SVG files I've purchased in the last 10 and a half months since I started working with lasers. I usually buy them, you know, for a dollar here, three dollars there on different websites throughout on the internet. But I ran across a gentleman, I think his name is Daryl. It's called That Laser Dude. He has a YouTube channel, but he also has his own website where he creates detailed SVG files on various different topics or areas, sports, um, plaques, monograms, all kinds of things, but they're really fine detail. And what kind of sets this apart from just those average everyday ones you buy is that the SVG file is broken down into virtually every piece is its own layer. So you can separate them out, move pieces around, do whatever you want. Whereas a lot of the files that I bought to date, usually you get the SVG file. And if you're lucky, one part of the file is in a separate layer. But generally, the way it looks is the way it looks, and you can't manipulate it very much. So a little bit of a shout out to them. Very happy with all the files I've purchased so far, and I've been working on the Bolt with, and now on the Aurora Light. Thanks, Daryl. So we're going to wrap it up again for another video. Just a quick one today, but I hope it's helpful. If you haven't tried brass yet, give it a whirl. Those are the only two colors or the only two settings I've got so far but I'm looking forward to seeing what else I can do with brass or what other colors I can get from it. Thanks for sticking around with me today. Have a wonderful week. Please be kind to each other and have fun with your laser this week. I'm Gord Potter and you've been watching Laser Nug. Cheers. <laughs>